Well, I can see that the trap is sprung, but I can't actually see nothing there. Times like this, you know, it gets a little exciting. <laughs> and as I uh, see what we got here now, if anything at all. Oh boy. <laughs> anything there, let me know. I still can't see. I really don't know. Could be a jay, merton, squirrel. Uh, Oh yeah! <laughs> I love doing stuff like that. Oh boy, that's wicked. First Merton of the day. Uh, day is uh, November the 29th. Beautiful day. Mild, a bit too mild, but still look nice thick fur on. Uh, Mertons are prime as is, you know. Uh, as the days get shorter, you know, that triggers, uh, triggers them to put on their winter coats, you know. Well, I got down reset. And here's the Merton. Like I said, that's the first one for the day. And uh, hopefully now uh, we'll get another one now before too long. So, so that's good. I always like to do a couple of takes, you know, with my camera. Because sometimes I lose some video. <laughs> so if I do a couple of takes, you know, at least uh, I'll have something to show. So anyway, that's all good. I'm going to keep moving on, I guess. I was just in checking a, a trap in Redeer and I got a Merton in it. And I drove up this part reach. But uh, I got a few the other day. So I'm going to let this one be for now. Uh, but look, he sure would be an easy one to snare all the same. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see the part which is up there in the tree. That's all right. And look, the Martin is over right there. And that makes number two for the day. Beautiful Martin. Well, the trap is sprung, but this time I can see a a foot in it around the side of the tree there. <laughs> anyway, hat trick right there. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh yeah. And this one here, the hole eating this box, you can see I had to drive some nails in there to keep stuff from getting down through the hole that way, like uh, whistles and stuff. So there you have it, reset and off to the next one. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful Martin. Another beautiful coat on that one. Beautiful fur. Well, I couldn't see near a trap. I didn't know what was going on. And when I looked, look, the Merton was down here. Uh, I had a, a Merton in this trap here earlier in the year, and I, I, I don't think I nailed this trap on real good. I just kind of buckled the nail back over a bit. And uh, anyway, good thing we never had no snow. Uh, uh, be careful of that from now on. <laughs> so anyway, that's a real pleasant surprise. Look at that, nice, nice, nice big Merton too, eh? So, so anyway, that's uh. That's super. And uh, so I got two here. Hopefully we'll get another one. Yeah, the nail. Well, look at the nail right there. <laughs> That's something. Yeah, uh, you held the nail out. Well, that's the, that's the last uh, box of the day. I uh, only had a short day today, but I ended up with four Mertens, so I'm uh, extremely happy with that. Uh, I got to get back. I got to go to Wildlife. Uh, I had an order for... Uh, some Merton carcasses, so uh, I think I need to get a permit from Wildlife to ship them at a province, and uh, so I want to get that done, get that shipped off today, and uh, I'll talk about that in a, uh, probably in another video, you know. But it's a good way, you know, to get a little added value from the trap line. Uh, so, uh, but I guess that's it for this video, guys. So, like always, thanks for watching, and until next time.